Today's halacha is in regards to cameras. Cameras are uh, become more and more common. It's almost impossible to avoid. Uh, walk down the streets today. New York already has their own cameras on the streets, and they're taking a video as people are moving. And these are all uh, accessible to whether it's to the New York City uh, Police Department or if it's to uh, private investigators, or if it's to people, private people that have it in their own house. So he says like this, You have a camera that's on the front door, on the outside, or even if it's inside the house, where many people have cameras inside their house, taking constant video. So it's considered psikreshe, it's going to happen automatic, but I have no interest in this kind of thing. Do I care if it's taking a video of me or not? I have no interest. It's not like when I turn on a light and I want the light on. In this case, I don't care about this video. Maybe there's one person that cares, either the police department or the owner of the house. But me, myself, the one that's passing by really does not want it. And therefore he says, since... There is no Isur Torah involved because no, no lights go on. This is an automatic, it has an automatic switch. It's at night, it has uh, lights that go on, uh, LED lights that uh, turn on, but has nothing to do with the passerby. So the camera is taking video regardless, and the lights are not being, again, turned on because of any person. So therefore he says it's only Isur Rabbanan, and it's, again, Boni Ali, I have no interest. So therefore, yesh makom lahatir, you're allowed to go into such a house, you're allowed to pass by such a, such a building or such a place, even though it's going to automatically record you. However, there are poskim that uh, are a little bit mahmir, and they say, mikom makom mishum ziluta de shabbat yesh lahmir. Being that you're making shabbat cheap, all of a sudden you're walking by and you're on video and someone is watching, and sometimes you could even have the cat the, the video, you could uh, see it somewhere else in a different part of the house. So he says, One should be mahmir not to live in such a place. And obviously if you have access to such a camera where you could turn them off for Shabbat, well at least some of them, definitely that's the right thing to do. He says it's not the right thing. You know, you walk into a shul and all of a sudden you see a big screen of everybody that's all around and it's uh, taking pictures, videos, or constantly, and you see everybody, the entire building, it's not the right thing. He says, the best thing is that the shul, the building, whoever it is, should really turn them off before Shabbat. Or, don't have them. Again, in most cases, it's for security, so obviously we can't not have them. But, in some, most of the times, at least, that they should be turned off for Shabbat, or part of them should be turned off for Shabbat, in order that there shouldn't be Hilu Shabbat, and it shouldn't be, when it's closed circuit, no one knows, no one sees a different story, or if it's hitting cameras, it's a different story. But in general, again, one should avoid such places, but today, again, it's almost impossible to totally avoid it. Again, in most cases, it's in the streets, it's on uh, most people's homes already. And therefore, again, it's mutar, you're allowed to pass by, you don't need to do anything. It's not like the automatic doors which open up and close, as we explained. Again, those are more of a problem. In this case, where again, there's nothing that's clearly visible, it's mutar since it's psikhirasheh, de lo nihaleh.